Hai, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. Um, usually I get the question from students or sometimes my friends um, where they actually uh, say that I post this content at the right time like you mentioned like your tips at consistently throughout the day three to five times at the right time in the morning in the lunch time during evening during the rush hour why am I not still getting engagement from the audiences from on social media on Facebook or on Instagram here my advice is to actually post engaging content not only at the right time but or uh, at the right timing but you need to engage them with your content provide a content that is of value for your audiences what and try to understand these customers why are they on social media on facebook or instagram why did they like your facebook page why did they follow you on instagram try to understand them what are their needs and wants what do they want from you so here you need to actually understand your customers to help you to create engaging content one of the ways actually um, I can give you an example is to create organic or paid content to reach your customers here organic content can be um, why one of the reason you reach lower audiences um, because the algorithm of Facebook Instagram or other social media channels allow you to reach only 2% of your friends or 2% of your followers from that 50 or 100 of your followers only a little will a little of them will receive your content will see your content on their news feed so there are difference of postings organic and paid organic post is where you don't pay anything at all you just post post your content without paying without spending money so this is why you reach some um, lower target um, lower audiences about two percent of them um, however organic post is really good to actually improve your online presence and reputation it's not saying that organic post is not good it is good to show them this is things that i keep on posting every day we are here you keep on telling them about your reputation your online presence but however you can see that some audiences um, appreciate this organic post you can see that they like this kind of post okay um paid posts on paid, uh, paid posts is like the name paid you need to pay amount of an amount of money a ringgit a dollar for example to boost your content to reach a wider audiences on your social media channels whether it's on Facebook or on Instagram here you can reach larger audiences and be more targeted actually not only you can reach your fans or your followers you can also reach um, outside of your social circle of your Facebook or Instagram you can reach the non fans the non followers there so here you can determine who the gender who will be receiving your content um, the location that you want your audiences to see your content for example you want those who are living in Sabah to see your content okay or those um, in this specific age so here you need to understand your customers as well who are your customers what age they are they are in in the range of what um, where are they in the location what gender they are okay so you need to understand as well so your content can be more targeted you don't spend that money to reach the uh, people on social media who are not your targeted customers as, at all okay so you don't want to spend that kind of money for the wrong targeted audience okay so and also on paid posts using this paid post you can reach wider audiences and increase awareness um, mostly paid posts are used to actually boost sales to help you boost sales so you can boost your advertisements uh, during Hari Raya during Christmas season so this is very helpful during the seasons okay so another strategy is your copywriting how you write 
your content, your advertisement, how you tailor the words around, of, um, around your advertisement. There is where you can actually see who create a engaging content or not. Um, so there are different techniques of creating um, copywriting uh, posts. There are teases, there are soft sell uh, postings, there are hard sell postings. So these are the three techniques of copywriting. Um, so teaser is where you provide a glimpse, a sneak peek towards your postings uh, about um, about your products or your services for example coming soon the 14th, uh, 15th of April 30th of April it's coming soon and you just provide a sneak peek of uh, a picture of your product or your um, services there soft selling is where it's more indirect about your business or your products or services here you want, soft selling is mostly used to create relationship create engagement with your customers like I mentioned before that you have to understand your customers some of your customers on social media they will just want to be social they just want to connect with the brand on social media so here soft selling is really helpful to aim this kind of customers to provide more value to your customers so here soft selling can be in the category of tips for example tips um, daily things that you can do what you can do um, with these products or services so it's very indirect you're creating more value towards your customers rather than pushing things so that connects to hard selling hard selling is where you agrees aggressively pushing a content an advertisement to tell your customers please buy my products or services that is hard selling like the word hard is very pushy it's really aggressive you want them to buy your products or services it's very direct okay so soft selling is indirect hard selling is direct so here these are example of teasers here so for example coming soon and you have the soft selling these are the example it's more about a subtle marketing subtle marketing you can tell stories through that kind of content right um, that actually can create shares on social media that can create likes or comments on social media and so these are the examples storytelling the tips um, for hard selling this is um, where you compare your products or services with the other competitors products or services here uh, is where it's quite related to hard selling postings you don't do that on soft selling postings at all okay so hard selling you can see um, this is one example okay so on your facebook or instagram or other social media channels you can be more focused on hard selling or soft selling fully 100 percent hard selling 100 percent soft selling however you can also have your own ratio for example 50 percent hard selling 50 percent you focus on soft selling or like my one of my tips is to be um, to be connected with your customers to be that social on your uh, social media channels you create more soft selling compared to hard selling 80% soft selling 20% of hard selling but however you need to understand your customers first you can read your insights to understand whether you have more engagement on soft selling lower engagement on hard selling that determines that you need more soft selling um, content, lower postings of, of hard selling content. However, if you have more engagement on hard selling content and lower engagement on soft selling content, that determines that you need to post more hard selling, lower post of soft selling. So that is where you can actually read your insights to understand how many ratio, what is the ratio of hard selling or soft selling that I need to do on my social media channels that is the copywriting part there are three techniques so the next one is hashtags hashtag is really helpful is to it's where actually you can categorize your content 
the postings that you do and also to build a community based on that you can also create your own hashtag your own unique hashtag hashtag tara for example hashtag epic ums it's where it, i categorize my own posting towards epic ums only so whenever you want to see my histories of my postings around epic ums you just click that hashtag another one is you can use hashtags that is trending for example photos of the day uh, outfit of the day okay um cat of the day okay cat of instagram you want to join in a bandwagon to share your photos to share your content or video with the rest of the world that uh, that uses that hashtags okay it can also create your content to be more visible globally um so another one is to use a hashtag that is general where for example clothes okay baju kurung for example or hijab um because like i mentioned before in my previous video about 44% of the global audience are using social media as a uh, main research channel so sometimes they can read they can search the term baju kurung on instagram or on facebook so that that hashtag will help you to help your content be visible when they search that term on Facebook or Instagram or other social media channels. So other than that, you can use a CTA. CTA is short for calls to action. Calls to action is where you want your audiences to act a certain way. For example, on Facebook, Instagram, on social media channels, you can see um, CTAs at the end of the captions. For example, follow us on our YouTube or Instagram, Facebook. Click the link in our bio for more details to order now. CTA can be used on other digital channels as well. For example, your email or websites. So these are the example of CTAs you can see on your websites or your email. It's a pop-up. It comes up after five seconds when you are on your, the website, on the sidebar, on the content, and at the footer. So use the keywords that trigger emotions to make them act upon your CTA call to action. All right. Um, so these are the copywriting tips. There are structure that you need to think about. How the structure of a soft selling, the hard selling, or a uh, teaser. So the main thing you have is title, a product about a service offering. When you do you want, when you're doing hard selling content uh, copywriting, you need to have that USP, unique selling proposition. Compare your product with your the rest of your competitors product or services and a call to action. That is one type of structure. Segmentation, understand who are your customers. So here you need to understand their demography, the geography, the location of their, where they are, the social economic, what is their education and their income level and their psychographic, their lifestyle. Are they Focus on um, healthy lifestyle, okay, and be specific in your copywriting. Other than that, you must be appropriate because different social media channels have different rules. Um, so when you do that, you need to adhere with their rules. You need to post content, photos, videos, a uh, copywriting that adheres to each of the social media's rules. So it be appropriate, okay. So. The next strategy, I'll tell you more about it in the next video, okay? Alright, bye!